If you've ever had this feeling that something was terribly wrong with the world that we live in, but you couldn't figure out just what it was, then you've come to the right place. Secret societies, mystery religions, and the Illuminati have been controlling our reality since the beginning of time. But not anymore, because there is an awakening happening, and you are about to become a part of it. Wake up, because this is a call for an uprising. This is a call for an uprising. Welcome to today's show. I've been talking about this since the beginning of all of this going on, about the isolation and isolating people from one another, imprisoning ourselves in our own home. Right? I've been talking about it for years with the technology, yada, yada. We're all familiar, unless you're new to the channel. This has been going on for a while, building up to what you're seeing now with the outbreak. Now they're going to begin a bigger crackdown. There's going to be more rules, more regulations, and they've already come out the CDC and, and pretty much announced, first of all, that the masks and the social distancing aren't going away until at least 2022. And that, I mean, that could be that that's what Fauci says. And that could be the time period where the vax becomes mandatory, where as next year, what they'll continue to do is condition everyone and people will get so used to this, which has already happened. People are used to this. I still complain about it to people. I won't do this. I won't go there. I'm not wearing a mask. And then they're like, it's not a big deal. What's the big deal? These are family members, loved ones, old friends. They've been conditioned into it. So one more year of conditioning. And then for the people who uh, don't get the vax and stuff, they'll, they'll be the people like us who are, if we're still alive at that point, they'll begin isolating us from society. Now, I want you to take a look at this. The CDC is talking about restricting time limits between interactions between people to 15 minutes. This is right out of 1984. Take a look at this story. A close, continuous contact was previously defined as someone who spent at least 15 consecutive minutes within six feet of a person infected with coronavirus. Now, it's defined as someone near an infected person for 15 minutes or more over a 24-hour period of time. People who are going to need to go under quarantine is going to expand. Dr. Diana Cervantes, assistant professor of epidemiology at UNT Health Science Center, points to a study that found a correctional officer in Vermont caught the infection from COVID positive prisoners. In an eight hour shift, the employee came close to an infected person about 22 times for a total of 17 minutes. The strength of this study is that it's in a correctional facility, so people are being monitored by video throughout their whole interaction. So they were able to identify a person. The study also found that while the official was wearing a mask, some others at the facility were not masked all the time. Trying to emphasize that it's the importance of layering. You have to keep that six feet distance, making sure everyone's wearing their mask and protective equipment. And just because you're wearing a mask doesn't mean it negates you from being a close contact. If you're within six feet for 15 minutes or more, Throughout 24 hours, you're going to be a close contact. This could impact schools and offices and perhaps social gatherings as well. Schools, of course, rely on teachers. are going to have to get more substitutes. There's going to mean more people that are potentially out of the workplace because they're under quarantine because now they're considered a close contact where previously maybe they weren't. And where did we see stuff like this and hear stuff like that? I showed you 1984. Look at the clip from 1984. Number one, for a man and a woman to be together, which they don't want, obviously, because they want to depopulate, and they pretty much want men to be with men and women to be with women because everything is inverted. And it's, you know, I'm even seeing it where women are offended now if you even tell them that they're beautiful because they want to be called strong, empowered business. I mean, it's just unbelievable the world that we're living in. And I really am like, at, I'm reaching my limits with all of it. But men and women have to sneak away, and they even used to have these zones, these areas where people could go and they wouldn't have the social distance in this zone, but they'd say, look, between this, this square and this square, this is where you go to meet. You have 15 minutes, you can talk, you can hear the news and talk to each other and interact. And that's it, as you're being monitored by Big Brother. The number of entrants in the Big Brother victory lottery has exceeded all previous records. And after deducting the usual percentage for the bombed areas fund, the proceeds to be distributed as prizes are the greatest since the inception of this lottery. Here are the results as they were drawn by the hand of Big Brother himself from the millions of numbers. The first prize, higher than ever before, goes to 6349 2 1. 
second prize, also larger than in any previous week, goes to number 8134-6294. We're all right. There's no microphone here. It takes a little while to realize you're not being overheard. All watched. We can look at each other now and not be afraid. We can say whatever we like to each other. And this is where it's all going and people think that we're all crazy. I mean, it's really funny. I don't mind when people do videos on me at all. I actually laugh at most of them because no, you know, people say that I'm not a, a Christian. I'm a, people say I'm actually a Satanist. So then why would I spend all day exposing this stuff when it's really deteriorating my own health, even having to talk about it because it's depressing as possible. But seeing people do videos where we have like, you know, atheists and we have people who literally are supporting, you know, saying everything that's going on is real. These people are, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I, they are so dumb. It's amazing. You, it's been forewarned. We've told people, right? Everybody has been talking about this stuff, and we still get called con crazy conspiracy nuts. So look, look, I talked about this three, four months ago. I talked about the bubble, right? Look at these headlines that are out there. This is predictive program. This is how it works, right? I talked about Bubble Boy and how literally they've been preparing us to live in isolated bubbles where we aren't going to be, everything's going to be, you know, in, inner city, right? The, like the show, The Dome, Right? People thought, talked more about the dome being flat earth instead of talking about the dome being what the real meaning was behind it, which was keeping people trapped inside of small areas contained where they were completely monitored and they weren't allowed to leave. This is CNN. Social distancing limited the spread for Major League Baseball teams. Right Now, why is that? Because all these baseball teams... Stop, they, they stayed in one region, right? So teams like the Yankees wouldn't go to California because they were in New York. They played teams all on the East Coast. The teams in the center, center of America played teams at the center, the teams in the West of that. Then they decided for the playoffs, everybody stays in the same town, the same city. The same thing they did with the NBA, which the NBA called the bubble. Baseball ends up calling it the bubble. And all the stories that you hear from football are about how all these people on these teams are getting sick because they're flying to other cities, interacting with other players, and everybody's causing the spread, right? This is to create more rules, laws, and regulations to keep us isolated and contained. That's all that this is. Other articles that come out, smart sensors that could track social distancing in the office, and people don't think that this is, this is complete invasion of privacy, that this is completely... Big Brother a hundred, th 100 times on crack is what it is. You know, you got a monitor in your chair. Soon you have the monitor in your wrist. I mean, to not be able to see it, it shows it's either a real stubbornness or a real stupidity. That's what it shows. And you can see all these other things now that the CDDC are talking about. How they're now going to define close contact of someone who has the C-19 as... It released, the CDC released new evidence showing that it can be passed during relatively brief interactions. And there are literally places out there, you know, there's doctor's offices, dentists, there's places you can only go for 15 minutes. This is stuff that I've seen from my own eyes and heard other people tell me about, right? They say previously the CDC described close contact with someone who spent 15 minutes or more within six feet of someone. Now the NHA says it's someone who spent... 15 minutes or more within six feet of someone who is infectious over 24 hours, which means you pretty much have 15 minutes of time to speak to someone and you're done. Like getting your prison release for 15 minutes to go out in the courtyard and shoot the basketball before they blow the whistle or whatever they do and send you back inside your prison cell. That's what they're saying there for people that don't understand. It's not saying, well, you have 15 minutes and then you got to move on, but you can go talk to someone else. They're saying you have 15 minutes to speak to this individual and you're done and you have to wait 24 hours. To see it. That doesn't sound like prison rules. Goodness gracious. Look at the stuff going on in Italy. These articles. Italy did everything to right, to, excuse me, did everything right to stop a second wave. But what did they do wrong? Because there's a huge outbreak. All these countries over, you know, in the UK 
all talking about drastic measures are being taken suddenly to contain the surge. And that only means it's a matter of time for us because we're the, I mean, the dump, we're the least, the least, how do I word this? The country with the least amount of pushback is America. The country with the dumbest citizens, even though we're told we're the smartest in the world, is America. Let's be realistic. That doesn't mean me and you are idiots. It means look around at the other 95% of people. They are completely living, breathing inside of a matrix in a false reality. They're not even alive because they don't even know that everything that they think and learned in school and everywhere else is a fake lie. And they just go with it. They're on their phone. It doesn't matter. And you're going to hear these things, right? Italy's daily cases soar to 15,000, right? And this is all happening. It's obviously they've warned us. I did the predictive programming videos, which they took down, which some are up on my website, right? I did the bubble boy predictive programming. They've been telling us. They're showing us now. And again, Fauci saying that this is going to be here till 2022, Right? shows you that the plan is to continue to just beat this into people's head as normalcy. Because once the youth just all they all they'll know, I don't know what the youngest age kids are wearing masks at, their parents are making them. I guess, you know, kindergartners, right? Let's just say five-year-olds hypothetically. All, all they know is wearing the mask. So it's a normal way of life. And another year goes by, they don't question taking it off. Okay, hey, you're going to school, but don't forget your mask. It's like saying, don't forget your lunch. Don't forget your keys. Don't forget your wallet. Unfortunately, don't forget your cell phone. And that's really how we've gotten to this point, right? We've allowed them to engineer us, engineer us, and engineer us. And now we're at a point where we're imprisoned. And soon, I'm telling you, they've already talking about you're not going to be able to travel intercity, interstate. Borders are going to be closed, right? Can't go into Canada from America. Well, soon it's going to be you can't go from Montana or you know, let's just say you can't go from California into Nevada, right? You can't go from Montana into Idaho. Suddenly these false, these barriers that have always been there suddenly have a meaning now in the map that we've been, have beaten into our head about individual states with individual separation, right? Some states have taxes, this tax, the other states don't. Taxes are higher here, lower there. Right? And then it all just leads to, ooh, when it's all the Antichrist comes and the Vax is here and everything becomes one. It's just one big country and there's all, everything's the same. The taxes are the same. Everything's the same. Oh, right. And what is that? Oh, the Great Reset, which they're planning on doing very, very shortly. So I wanted to make you aware of it. They're just continuing to close and clamp on people. They don't even realize the wording of what the CDC is saying about how much time you could spend with people because people are just, they're like, oh, what's the difference anyway? I mean, and they get used to it. They embrace it. They think they're being protected by a big brother. But as long as they have their power and their cell phone for now with the 5G towers on, they're okay with it. Unbelievable the world we're living in. I want to thank everyone out there for listening to today's show. It's getting scarier by the second. Love all you guys. Thanks again. God bless you and your families.